In this work, we propose a novel monocular human reconstruction method, self-recon. It can recover the high-fidelity human shape, including loose garments, from a monocular video depicting a self-rotating person. Some prior methods rely on an explicit parametric model or specific template mesh for optimization. However, the results are constrained on a fixed topology, and are either hard to model the loose clothing or extend to different humans. On the other hand, neural implicit representation methods have higher flexibility and expressiveness for topology variation and reconstruction accuracy. However, they are hard to extract space-time coherent representation for the whole sequence. This is inconvenient for downstream applications. In this work, we want to combine the advantages of explicit and implicit representations. The pipeline summarizes the optimization process of self-recon. During the optimization, we utilize an MLPF to represent the implicit SDF in the canonical space, and its corresponding explicit mesh is extracted periodically. To generate space-time coherent meshes for the sequence, we utilize the forward deformation field to transfer geometry to the current space. Then a differentiable mask loss is used on the explicit mesh to hold the overall shape. To refine the implicit surface, we propose the differentiable non-rigid ray casting algorithm to find the intersection point P of the ray and the implicit surface. Then, the implicit neural rendering MLP will infer P's color based on its attributes. Corresponding pixels color and predicted normal are utilized to refine the geometry. Finally, a match loss is designed to make both representations as consistent as possible. For a sequence, our forward deformation composes of two parts to represent the deformation of the current frame. The first one adds non-rigid deformation to the canonical geometry, which mainly models the movement of loose garments. The second one utilizes pre-computed skinning weights field and per frames articulated pose to express the human motion. For rigid scenes, the sphere tracing algorithm is widely used to find the intersection point of a ray and the SDF surface. However, it is not feasible here due to the forward deformation fields. We propose an efficient optimization algorithm that utilizes the explicit mesh to solve the intersection point. Considering a ray from the camera and hitting the current explicit mesh on X hat, we use the barycentric interpolation to find its corresponding point P hat on the canonical mesh. As the explicit mesh is a piecewise linear approximation of the canonical SDF surface, the point P hat should be a good approximation of the true intersection P with the implicit surface. Then, its deformed point X is exactly the intersection point of the ray and the current SDF surface. With the P hat as initialization, we solve intersection P based on two losses. The first one constrains P to lie on the implicit surface and the second one restricts deformed P on the ray. Based on the good initialization, 10 times iterations can solve the optimization for most sampled rays. However, the iteratively solved intersection P is not differentiable relative to the learnable weights of MLPs. We need to derive its differentiable formulation. Because an intersection point shall always satisfy two conditions, P is on the implicit surface and deformed P lies on the ray. We formulate the constraints as equations and leverage the implicit differentiation theorem to attain the gradient of P relative to some MLP's weight. Utilizing synthetic video data, we present the quantitative comparison with model-based method video avatar. The fixed topology constrains its representation ability while self-recon can recover the geometry of loose garments. Self-recon also outperforms some model-free methods. Pamir uses multi-frame input to improve its results but still miss some features. And the results of neural body recover the overall shape while suffering from large noise. Here, we present more reconstructed results of self-recon on the people snapshot dataset and our self-captured videos with a smartphone. We also present an interesting application. Based on our space-time coherent reconstruction, a high-quality texture avatar can be generated with the monocular video. Thanks for watching, and please check our paper for more details.